Hi, everyone. So this has been a hot topic during Lab Week, which is a question a lot of people have asked around what can Filecoin do for AI and what we are doing. And so I'm going to try to cover this presentation pretty quick because we are running short on time. But the answer I want all of us in this room to have by the end of my presentation is why the future of AI enterprise is decentralized storage. So today, we all generate a lot of data. But studies show that in just a few years' time, AI data will account for 90% of new content on the web. That is enormous. And the growth trajectory for AI-generated data is expected to be a 34% growth by 2030. And Filecoin really has three major advantages. There's a lot more, but I'm just going to cover three for the sake of time. Scaling costs, trust in proof of storage, and resilience to monopoly data ownership. So number one, one problem in AI is really scale. The data problem generated in AI is there are so many things that produce so much data. Who here knows how much data a self-driving car creates? It's about 1.4 terabytes every hour, 5.8 petabytes of data a year. And if you have been to San Francisco lately, you'll actually see these kind of cars everywhere. And so while it may not hit the rest of the world, we will soon see this everywhere. And right after this picture was taken, uh, there was an incident just a few months ago in San Francisco where a self-driving car ran over a woman that was already hit by a normal vehicle. And we can imagine the liability and information that local law enforcement and others want. It's really hard to do that without preserving all that data that comes from AI. And so why is Filecoin a great advantage in this situation? Um, AI models are trained on large data sets. Usually the more data, the more accurate or better. We can all debate that if we want. And as many of you guys know, you've heard from other presenters, Filecoin is able to be a storage leader in storing large amounts of data, especially large data sets, at a fraction of the cost of AWS. You guys have already seen a number of case studies earlier today from some of the institutions that store large data here. And so um, that is one, is really scale. Number two, the second problem we face in AI is trust. Today, over 61% of people actually are wary about trusting AI. In fact, only one in two believe that the benefits of AI outweigh the risks. This is something that is widely debated. And for us, um, Filecoin has a huge advantage because it builds in trust for data integrity. On the right, you can see just earlier this year, one of our partners, Starling Labs, that we in Protocol Labs fund, was able to actually bring on-chain images from the war crimes in Ukraine so that one day these images can be used in international criminal court. And so Filecoin's proof of space time, space time mechanism is a great example of data integrity. This over here is an is a image of just the AI generative AI market map. You can see so many logos, and you can just imagine how many more companies will be added. So this problem is only getting larger. Three is resilience. Another problem is most people here, or most consumers you guys might know, don't realize that most AI is owned by large big tech. On the left, you can see Amazon actually invested $4 billion in Anthropic, which is a competitor to OpenAI. Microsoft invested $10 billion in OpenAI. And then on the very right, you can see most of the AI patents we see and use today are owned by big tech or Chinese cloud providers. We've also seen a lot of problems with centralization of data. Some of you guys might remember Cambridge Analytica, and people are predicting there will be a Cambridge Analytica style, style scandal coming in the AI age. And one of the best parts about Filecoin is that it brings resilience to monopoly data ownership. 
Um, some of you guys in this room are storage providers, some of you guys are building on Filecoin, but you can see we have over 3,300 storage providers all around the world that help us not have a single point of a failure and also making sure that it's not centrally controlled. And so that's my quick talk. If you wanna hear more about enterprise data, AI, and Filecoin, you can also just enter those texts in chat GPT and it does a pretty accurate job in summarizing my points. Um, you guys also heard earlier today about just some of the tools in our ecosystem that are thinking about AI. We have Water Lily, which empowers digital artists to be able to be compensated for the work. A lot of the challenges with artists today is not being able to attribute their work and get paid for it. Numbers Protocol is one that does content authenticity through photos, and so, Thank you, everyone. And um, this is a poem I wrote for Filecoin Day to wrap it up. All right.